how's it going fellas so beautiful morning um it's closer to noon right now i took my time coming up it's been a hard three days in the sun basically today we are up to congross and we're just down the way from ward's rock i put in from ward's rock there and took some video of some salmon that were laying pretty nice This is actually my first time up this far, so this is all new territory for me. Just heading down, going to see how things are at a hole just down from uh, Ward Rock. There's a lot of people there right now, so get down out of the way and uh, we'll see how things are. There's a lot of sun on the river right now though up overhead, so probably aren't going to get any bites, but at least it'll be nice to know that we're casting uh, onto some fish, right? So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, so if anybody's curious as to what I'm using right now, it's a blue charm. So just a standard Atlantic salmon blue charm. Hopefully you can see that. This is a size uh, four hook, crimp barb obviously, and uh, really easy pattern to tie. I tied four of them last night. Two of these size fours and two size sixes.
Good morning guys. So, it's a beautiful ride in this morning. If you guys are in the Marguerite area and you're hesitant about whether or not to come up to Kingrass, the furthest section of the Marguerite North, don't hesitate. Get up here, challenge that ride up. It's just a dirt road. The first half of it is actually quite pleasant. The second half of it kind of feels like it wants to rattle the teeth out of your skull, but it is God's country up here. Uh, we're at Sky Pool, um, or we're making our way to Sky Pool, if I don't break my rod in these spruce trees. <laughs> anyway, when you get here, it's an old house. Um, it's probably, I'm pretty sure it's a heritage building. It's probably still owned, but uh, it's definitely a heritage building. Um, and uh, the grounds here is absolutely spectacular. Holy smokes. If you're thinking about the idea coming up here, don't give it too much thought. Get up here and check it out. It is beautiful. There's a bunch of local businesses up here. There's some, uh, some inns along the way. Um, well, at the end of the road, that is. Um, there's like a fishing retreat. Uh, there's big intervale lodge. Um, there's a, a thrift store, like art uh, shop on the way in before the three bridges, four bridges, I guess. And then there's also a quilt shop here. And the quilt shop right now is crazy busy. I'm assuming they put out a wicked product. So <laughs> good on them. They're drawing some, uh, some attention up here. The fall colors are pretty much in full change up here. It is beautiful. This is just what I was looking for when I came up on this trip. And back in the regular part of the Marguerite down below, um, Port Tree, which is actually, uh, Port Tree's still pretty far north as far as getting up to the Marguerite goes. Um, Cause a lot of people that come and fish the Marguerite, they don't go above um, uh, the second bridge. I'm gonna follow the mode section here. So, Come on up this far. It is beautiful up here. It is secluded. Um, it does get busy. The pools get busy because right now all the salmon are pretty much holding up here. There are some that are still lingering down below. So basically the salmon do hunker down and they are getting ready to drop their eggs. I'm super excited today for the simple fact that right now we're supposed to be full-on raining and it's holding off the blue sky is kind of breaking there behind me we're gonna mosey on through the trail we'll pick up at the pool and we'll get set up and we'll hopefully get our fish on all right guys hey guys I just want to show you this real quick. So, being former military, I have a, a real strong habit of doing map recce's before I go into the woods and stuff, just to get a good idea of where the hell I'm going so that I don't end up lost. And it's a good thing because, Olive, come here, Olive, Olive. I know you're caught, baby. Come on in here. Actually, you know what? That's a great idea smart puppy because I am really really heating up here oh my goodness yeah that's nice Woo! it is always a pleasure to kneel down in the water and cool off after a hike in waders holy smokes yeah Olive agrees. <laughs> All right guys, so if you're new to this area and you're not exactly sure how to access these pools, don't get frustrated when you come onto these trails. Basically, um, if you continue in a relatively same direction, you're gonna come out at the river or just follow the sound of the river. This trail actually first comes out to Cemetery Pool. However, you're on the wrong side. The proper way to access Cemetery Pool is actually on the other side before you turn into Kingross. 
and uh, basically you drive into the cemetery or park on the road, whatever you prefer, and then you follow the trail down. You access cemetery pool right over here on the proper side. So when you reach the trail though, uh, the wood line though, at the top of this, and you see cemetery pool, just keep heading down river and sky pool's right here. So it just basically dumped us out here on sky pool, which is beautiful because that's where we want to go. guys so we're here we're at sky pool um, one of the biggest uh, runs for sure up here in Kingross and I think it's called Sp sky pool because it is so open here it is absolutely pretty we're on the north end of I believe they call that Sugarloaf Mountain um, I call I call it Island Mountain because it's uh, it's surrounded completely on all sides either one by the road and the other by the river yeah, it, it's really, really quite pretty. Um, and I've got this whole run right now to myself. I think the impending weather has kind of maybe scared off some of the people fishing. I don't know. But uh, the diehards, I know you guys are out here because the uh, there's a lot of you that just throw on the rain jackets like I do and come out and fish. Good on you. Um, don't let a little bit of rain stop you from getting out here. And... Uh, Come on, throw those rain jackets on, get out here, throw a line. You're already wet from the waist down, basically. You might as well throw a rain jacket and get wet. As long as there's nothing going into your waders, it should be okay. So, I this is, this is fantastic. This is absolutely perfect. All right? <laughs> awesome. Today, I'm going to throw on another blue charm here. If you guys can see that. Uh, one of the flies I tied there the other night.
Fellas, I just had a bite. Holy smokes. I just had a hard bite. I'm not even joking, that got my adrenaline going. That was a hug and a half. guys so we're at the end of the run and I'm gonna wrap it up um, it uh, it wasn't an eventless day I had a really nice bite there up uh, river and uh, 
the fish are in here. I know for a fact they're in here and it's just really nice knowing that we're casting for them. So basically though, um, it's been a long week for me. This is day five in the odd terrible cast. Putting together these videos for you of 2022 fall on the Marguerite. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. Hit that notification bell. It's been fun. I had a blast putting this together for you today. Uh, the fish, like I said, they are in here. So it's nice to just basically see them. Um, and it's just enjoyable being out here casting line, uh, having fun with Olive. Olive is tuckered out. Uh, she gets back to the cottage at night and she just, boom, gone. Um, so it, it's been a heck of a time. Basically, I hope for you guys, if you get up here and fish the marguerite, come with an open mind. Be prepared maybe to be skunked for salmon because it does not give up its salmon easily. It is a very tough river for, for catching. Um, it's a little bit on the easier side for trout, brown trout and brook trout, and sea run browns. Um, but it's just, it's a really, this place is God's country. I've fallen in love with this river all over again, just coming up here to King Grass area. Um, it's absolutely spectacular. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next video, hopefully for you guys, tight lines. See you guys.